today's video looking at the volatility 50 index 1s on the 24 hour chart of which is the daily time frame so looking at the overall market structure we have been creating higher highs and higher lows so which means we are pushing to the upside but looking at the market structure in the current moment we have this ascending channel let me just throw it out and then on that ascending channel at the top of the structure, we had like a double top whereby it's around this point here. And then after creating that double top formation, let me just zoom out so that you can see the charts correctly. Sorry about that. So at the top of the structure, we had this double top formation. And then looking at the current market structure, we also had like an ascending channel around this point. Or initially we had like a trend to the upside just because we are on the higher time frame. So we can initially say that this is a trend to the upside. So looking at the overall structures, we have been pushing to the upside as I said, as you can see here. And then we have two touches at the top. We have this touch here. We have this touch here. And then we initially are looking for the third touch for us to initially look for selling opportunities just because we have the ascending channel, as I said, and then correct and then to reach like the top of the structure we can look for those buying opportunities up until we reach the top of the structure then we can decide at the top of the structure if the market will give us a confirmation so that we can sell off or we are going to create a new higher high where it's around this point just because looking at the overall larger structures we have two touches at the top, this touch here, this touch here, and then we can expect the third touch to initially sell off up until this point here. And then after selling off, reaching that point, that is when we are going to get like the third touch. And then we can push to the upside, go with the trend, just because we are pushing to the upside, but still we have to create like those higher lows to initially get like the higher highs. So looking at the lower time frame, what I'm thinking is that you can take like buys up until from this point here, up until the third touch or the outer structure third touch. So let me just switch to the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, what we have is that ascending channel that I was talking about. And then what you can do is that you can just use like a ray line as I did, or you can just use a zone just like this so that you can see where the market is at. And then we have like a few patterns that I can just cater for in a few minutes on these areas. This one here, an ascending channel. As you can see, you can sell, you can uh buy in uh an initial trend. Let's say the trend is to the upside, but you can take like short term sales as you can see from that point. Uh, those who took like those sales made like a lot of profits. As you can see here, we buy to sell. And then as you can see here, we also have like some type of an ascending channel of which we reacted pretty nicely on it just because we had the ascending channel. We had this value area here that has been tapped very nicely and then we pushed to the downside. So initially, since we are supported by the structure around this point here, we are supported by the structure. And then I can just remove this uh, ascending channel here. And then we can just cater for this area here. And then what I'll do is that I'll just make sure that I'm catering for the current market structure just because there's no need for me to put it like this, but rather I focus on the current structures and make sure that I'm catering for the most touches. So this would be a right angle that I can use. And then uh, looking at the, Sensitive areas, we had this as our sensitive area whereby we should have taken like buys from this point here. Longs from this point, maybe we target this as our first target, this is a second target, and then our stop loss can be just below protected by this low point here. Around this point, just like this. And then the first target would be at around 3.88%, and then the second target, 7.63%. And then the overall target would be at the top of the structure for about 10.63%, just because there's no need for you to hold up until uh Jesus comes and all of that stuff, just because as you can see here, we are in a trend. So you can just focus on taking like these uh, small setups 
And then now looking at the current structures, we have this area here of which is sensitive. And then we also have a few areas that are sensitive around like this area here. As you can see, we have a few touches around this point, touches, 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 support, tend to resistant and all of that stuff. So at this area, you can take like a buy and then anticipating for the market to do this type of movement that I'm about to show you in this area. Let's say maybe we react and then we push to the downside a bit and then we push to the upside just like this. But initially what I'll be looking for is this type of movement whereby we create some type of an ascending channel whereby at the top of the structure, we react very nicely giving us like that uh, candlestick confirmation. Then that is when I'll be looking for those cells just like that. Let me just remove this. And then you sell around this point and then your stop loss can be just above. And then you're targeting here as your first target. Let me just remove that. This is your first target. And then initially the second target would be at the overall the touch on the outer structures just because we are following the trend. We don't know if it's going to do this until when just because we are pushing to the upside. So taking uh, sales, it's risky, but taking buys, it's a good way to trade just because the overall structure points to the upside. So I hope you took some value from this video. Then you can just drop a comment and a like, and then I'll see you on another video.